second speaker, and we add, they're exactly the same. Each one is pinging at the same time, and they're, they're adding their waves together. Places where the two are adding destructively, where they're opposite each other, you get an area where there's no sound at all. Places where they're adding together positively, you get an amplified sound. Now this is exactly like your home stereo system. If you have two speakers on your stereo and they're both pointing into the room, you probably notice the best spot is right in the center because that's where the beams are adding together. If you go around to the side, you get much less sound. It goes in that direction. So what you've created is a two-speaker array. And the cool thing is, if you keep adding speakers, look at what happens to our beam. It gets narrower and narrower. So now what we've got here is a beam that's nice and narrow, and it's going right where we want it to go. The problem is, we've also got these guys going off here to the side. Too many speakers out on the edges. These things are called side lobes, and they're the bane of engineers in acoustics. So for years, they've tried to get rid of these things, and the answer was really quite simple when they got around to it. And it's called a handing filter. So notice how all these circles are the same size. What that means is, for this simulation, they're all pinging at the same volume. So if instead we ping them like this, where the center one is the loudest, and the ones out towards the edge don't get as loud. So these guys out here on the edge, they're, they're pinging really quietly. And the ones in the center are really loud. And look at what happened to the side lobes. They disappeared. All that's left is the single beam that we wanted going in the direction that we want it to go, right, right down the center. 